Hello, word clock is a special type of clock where the current time is highlighted with a set of words that can tell any possible time. There are many projects for making such a clock with microcontrollers and usually the most difficult part to make is the display. Uh, which consists of a large number of LEDs, many connections and wires from the LEDs to the controllers and finally the mechanical performance of the case. This time I'll present you a very simple way to make such an interesting clock where a ready-made LED matrix is used as a display. The matrix looks like, like this, only four times larger than this one. The code is token from printables.com uh, where you can also download and STL files for a 3D printed layout, layout uh, of the letters as well as parts for the complete case. I made this part in a slightly different way using a 3D printed grid and paper mask that can be printed on a re regular laser printer. The clock is set automatically on the internet through a NTP server and for the rest of the options and settings is used a nice web interface. As I mentioned earlier, the clock is really simple to build and consists of a few components. ESP8266 microcontroller based module, uh, next 16 on 16 uh, addressable LED matrix with WS2812B LEDs. Next button and one 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor. Other parts are from my previous project. In this particular case, I'm using the housing from one of my previous projects, and you can follow its construction later in the video. Regarding the code, it is uploaded as is, without any modifications, and the Wi-Fi credentials are entered later via the web interface. Now let's see how the device works in reality. When turning on clock for the first time, on the screen nothing appears, and now the device is in access point mode. Uh, now we need to connect via Wi-Fi to this access point that has SSID clock settings. So this is access point from ESP32 clock settings. The password is third stroke. obtaining IP address and now we are connected to this access point. Next we need to point the web browser to this address. And this is a uh, web interface of the word clock. Uh, on this web interface we can, uh, we can enter SSID and passwords for our uh, local Wi-Fi network. Next we can select the time zone. For example my time zone is Europe. Europe's copy. Uh, next, we can check. Uh, uh, we can select the color, the color of the clock. We can choose between these colors or some custom color. Uh, next, we can control uh, whether the seconds are displayed on the clock. Uh, con uh, uh, we can control whether the clock dims at night and customize the dimming and re uh, rebrickening time. Uh, 
next we can select the clock brightness, the LED brightness and at the end uh, control uh, whether animations are shown. At the end we need to press save and clock will reboot and use these settings. If we, if we ever want to change these settings, we hold down the button for more than 5 seconds which resets the device back into access point mode where we can access the web interface and change again the settings. And now let's follow the process of making of this interesting clock. <laughs> 